Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And if you've just got on your hands on a brand new Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Plus, or the Samsung Galaxy S23, then these are the things which you need to do right off the bat as soon as you turn on your Samsung Galaxy S23. First things first, we all know that when they ship the device, it is running a software which might get an update out of the box so connect to the wi-fi go into settings go into software update select download and install and i'm pretty sure you are going to get an update for one ui for your samsung galaxy s23 series out of the box next thing we are going to do is we are going to remap the power button or the side key as samsung prefers to call it everybody knows they want to sell bixby but not a lot of us like bixby and out of the box when you press and hold the side key or what rest of the world knows as the power button you are greeted with bixby how do you fix this well you can go into settings then you will go into advanced features go into side key here it is press and hold get the power off menu select that bam fixed like a boss and out of the box double pressing the side key or the power button is going to open up the camera application and this you can do from anywhere but if you want to change it to open an application you select open app and herein select any application which you want to let us say i want to open the clock app bam double press the side button twice and we have the clock application next thing when you turn on your device after every few minutes what is the first thing you see you see the lock screen so let us go ahead and customize the lock screen go into settings go into lock screen tap on this option of lock screen herein if you tap on the clock you're going to get the option of choosing between different clocks you can change the font you can change the clock color as well and if you do not like any of the pre-baked colors tap on this circular colorful thing and here it is you can select any color which you want to and select done bam there it is customized like a boss then you can also add your emergency contact information on the lock screen in case you want to do that if you want to customize these two shortcuts on the bottom right on on the bottom left you can do that tap on it right now it is set as default let us say you want calculator and for the other one you want the flashlight bam there it is you just successfully customized your clock on the lock screen along with the other shortcuts once you're happy with everything tap on done on the top right and you should be good to go other than that you can also customize the way the widgets show up so we're back in this menu and here and if i tap on the widgets which are showing at the bottom you can either disable them or you want the icons only or do you want the details once you enable the details you can customize the transparency do you want to auto reverse the text color so yes you do have a bunch of different customization options for your samsung galaxy s23 in the lock screen settings next up with android 12 google introduced material you but it did take other oems like samsung and the xiaomi's some time to implement material you you do have material you present in the samsung galaxy s23 running the latest one ui and android 13 but it is not enabled out of the box so how do you enable it you go into settings then you go into wallpapers and style here and go into color palette you will notice that it is disabled and before we enable it this is how my quick settings panel looks right now so you see that i have a blue shade so let us go ahead and enable the color palette now you can switch between the different options let us say you like this one you will notice that the accent colors have changed and these are the colors it is picking up from the wallpaper because over here you have wallpaper colors in case you want just the basic colors you can do that as well and once you're happy you like it all you need to do is say apply over here and this is going to apply material you to my one ui running on the samsung galaxy s23 and there it is you can see that the quick settings panel has changed and you will find these ui changes on the icons as 
well the next thing which you will interact a lot with on your samsung galaxy s23 series is your quick settings panel so swipe down twice from the top you have the three dot menu on the top right select this go into edit buttons and here it is you have a bunch of different options available some toggles some tiles which you can add to your quick settings panel just press and hold and drag and drop them to the active section if you want to move something from the active section to the inactive section all you need to do is press and hold and move it over to the top and it is going to be removed so customize this to your liking another pro tip over here is that the brightness slider this appears when you swipe down twice however in case you want to change this you tap on the three dot menu on the top right one more time here and go into quick panel layout select brightness control and say show always select done and now a single swipe is going to bring up the brightness panel i don't have to swipe down twice to adjust the brightness on my samsung galaxy s23 Next up, let us talk about sound and vibration. So let us go into settings, sound and vibration. Here in for starters, enable this vibrate while ringing toggle. I'm not sure why Samsung has it disabled out of the box. Then if you go into system sound, here in you can enable or disable the sound for touch interactions, dialing keypad, Samsung keyboard charging, and the screen lock and unlock. One sound which I would like to disable is the irritating sound you get when you turn on your device or the device reboots if anybody does find a way of how to disable that boot up sound on the samsung galaxy s23 series do let me know via comments below now just like the fact that you can configure your system sounds if you go into system vibration you can configure your system vibration for those options as well and if you go into sound quality and effects you have something called dolby atmos which is super popular and i'm not sure why samsung has this disabled out of the box so make sure you do enable the toggle for dolby on your samsung galaxy s23 series then you also have the option of separate app sound so in case you want to play media sound from one app to a different device all the time that is something which you can do over here once you enable this toggle you will land up on a screen like this wherein you can choose the different applications and then you can choose your audio device so if you want your youtube music to always play from your bluetooth speakers or your bluetooth headphones that is something which you can configure over here next up if you've ever dismissed a notification and then you regret it because you didn't see it properly this is the one which is going to help you out by enabling notification history so we will go into settings notifications advanced settings notification history and enable this toggle once that is done you should get the option of viewing your notification history in your quick settings panel jumping over to the display settings which you need to enable right out of the box for starters make sure that you have your adaptive brightness enabled and do note for the first few days you might have to adjust the brightness to your liking because the phone is going to take some time to learn your pattern and your preferences then you also have the option of dark mode and you can always schedule your dark mode in case you want to do that other than that you also have eye comfort shield so you do not need to buy those extra expensive blue light filter glasses you have that on your phone right here in case you want your font to be bold you have a toggle for that and you have the option of choosing between three different fonts as well along with the slider for changing the font size to your personal liking other than that you also have full screen applications option and camera cutout so apps wherein you want to hide the cutout you can use the camera cutout option and edge panels is another nifty feature which you do need to use so out of the box you have it enabled for apps but you can enable it for a bunch of different options which do include your clipboard reminders weather and you can edit these panels on an individual basis you can customize the color of the handle the transparency move it around wherever you want to and to access the edge panels all you have to do is swipe from the edge panel and then to switch between the different edge panels swipe across the existing edge panel now 
Another cool feature which your Samsung Galaxy S23 series has but is not enabled out of the box is called navigation gestures. Out of the box, I am still surprised why Samsung has this three button style. But if you go into settings and display here and you go into navigation bar, just enable swipe gestures and it is going to switch over to the swipe system. Here and you have the option of choosing between two different gesture styles and the one which I use is the one which comes with the Google Pixel devices. Staying with display settings, if you have installed a tempered glass screen protector and your in display fingerprint sensor is not working or is it not up to the mark you're not happy go into settings go into display enable the toggle for touch sensitivity and this should help you out then let us talk about your battery life so if you want to use your samsung galaxy s23 series for a long time you want to make sure that the battery does not die or degrade fast well you can always go into settings and then you can go into battery and device care here and tap on the battery option which right now says learning usage patterns scroll down go into more battery settings and you have a toggle to enable protect battery here and to extend the lifespan of your battery limit the maximum charge to 85 percent and if you ever want to show off the reverse wireless charging feature on the Samsung Galaxy S23 series, we can go back into battery and device care, tap on battery and wireless power sharing, enable this and bam, there it is. You can now use your Samsung Galaxy S23 to charge somebody else's AirPods, their headphones, even their phone. And last but not the least, if you want to experience some features which are still in development mode for One UI, you can go into settings, advanced feature, and then go into labs and here and you will see features like swipe for pop-up view swipe for split screen so once you enable these you can go ahead and read what they tell you to do and you'll find some pretty awesome features over here which are going to help you with multitasking and there it is peeps those were the first things you should do as soon as you power on or turn on your Samsung Galaxy S23 series for the first time. Now, of course, this is not a full and comprehensive list. So if you have some feature which I missed out on, which you do as soon as you take your Galaxy S23 series out of the box, do mention it in the comments on this video.